Hey guys, so, well, it's another hot day. And so, uh, here is my Echo PB580T backpack blower that I bought Saturday. <clears throat> so I thought for this video, I'm going to do a compression test on it. And so it's only been used only once. And we'll see how, what the compression is on it. And so, without further ado, we'll get started here. Alright, so we need to take the plug out. I'm going to use one of these little spark plug tools. Or use a three quarter inch deep socket. And then we'll break this plug loose. If I can try and get this thing. There we go. All right, plugs out, so let me go get my compression tester. All right, just screw your compression tester in and only have it on there just snug. Don't have it too tight because you could warp that uh, O-ring. <clears throat> All right, so I have y'all looking at the compression tester upside down. And it's probably not going to look all that good just by looking at it. So I'm going to pull over the engine until the needle will stop moving here. And here's the reading here, about 125 PSI. So that's not too bad. So I bet it'll probably uh, it'll probably will regain maybe uh, 10 more PSI once the engine is broken in. So this thing has only been used only one time. So that's pretty good. And so once again, that's the compression test on the uh, Echo PB580T backpack blower. Probably within maybe several more months, I'll probably do another compression test on it. Maybe see if the compression will be higher though, which I bet it will once the engine's uh, been broken in. All right, so I hope y'all enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the lawn cutting video videos. And I'm gonna make it uh, a little bit later once the temperature uh, cools down a little bit because it's just too hot for me to cut grass right now. Alright, so thanks for watching.